difference is if it's going to be maintained within two years or if it's going to be maintained after the two years. Because if, if, the, if, if it's done properly, the county won't have to maintain it for the first two sure, years. Sure, I understand that. But the two year deal, I, I'm not sure I'm getting that either. Mm -hmm. The same two years because of the proposed annexation, but is that going to happen two years? No, it's not because of the pro proposed annexation. According to, to Cindy, it's because uh, that's what the county is, is offering in, in return for the variances. Uh, I think this that's clearly that's needs some more information before this council can make such a hard decision at, and it is not our intention mr price to stop your construction and please understand that now i understand as a business owner sitting between a county and, and a number of regulatory agencies we all have to be playing together on this one and clearly understand what the county wants and what the city can and cannot do and what the county can and cannot do and what you can and cannot do in the long term of your business and again, I'm going to make a motion to the table until we can get answers to the questions and ensure that we have those answers to our questions at the next council meeting so that the decisions can be made on the variance and the approval of the plan. And, and this is for 4E and 4F. Correct. Correct. I'll make the second to, uh, to table it as well. I have a motion to table item 4E and item 4F. Motion made by Councilman Miller, second by Councilman Rodriguez. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries 5 0. I had already played up before the meeting that I was going to leave at 8.30 and uh, I had a bar of commitment, so I'm going to, if I could be excused. Now we're going to go on to item 4G, consideration and action to approve directive number 6. Madam Mayor, uh, and in reviewing the council meeting minutes, uh, the minutes from 523 item 4J, says resolution and council directive to city manager regarding the enforcement of safe driving practices within the city limits of Floresville. Presentation given by Lieutenant Chad Clark on the historic and current on tickets, accidents, and stops made in the city of Floresville. Motion made by Councilman Miller to direct the city manager regarding the issue of safe driving practices and include it in directive number six. Seconded by Councilman Rodriguez motion carries 5-0 as i review this council directive number six this is not inclusive in it and as such make the motion to table until the next council meeting when that can be included That's fine. Then, then I'll make the motion to approve the directive as presented with this amendment.
as suggested, and I echo or I support the proposition that we just take open proposals for leases and that they be for dollar amounts and they be for no restrictions on frequencies. We did go back and check the Internet America matter. Uh, my colleague discussed that with Kurt and we can't find the records on the old Internet America so we don't have the president facing us yes or no. So the thought was to just take straight up and down dollar proposals for the leases on the tower and do reasonable notice if you bring them back in the month and see what they say. So since you're in the lease of RFP. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, and there, and, and there is a time frame on that as yeah, well. Bring it back okay. in the and advertise it in the meantime and pay. Okay. And it'd be a generic RFP? Just yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And the only thing non generic about it is is that we'll have to cover the pause. <laughs> I'll make a motion to direct the city manager to create and submit RFPs on individual tower leases for city on the water towers. Okay, I have a motion for Councilman Miller. May I have a second? Uh, second. Councilman Rodriguez, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries, four zero. Now we're going to go on to item four I, consideration and action to approve resolution on agenda 21.
It is not only involving global warming, but social and economic community issues. I'm asking this council to look beyond the surface of what this political issue represents and its supporters. Its supporters favor no change, no enhancements, no real solutions to our problems. These supporters favor low taxes, deficit cuts, use the Constitution as, as their center of life, and want the people to solve all our issues without government help. As taxpayers, we are entitled to government-supported programs. It is our money, and we have a right to demand what is ours. We're currently using one of the, those programs. Um, it's called SECO. It was an energy grant awarded to the city, and we used it for our air conditioners. So please do not vote in favor of this resolution. Vote against it. It is the right thing to do to preserve the rights of our people. Thank you. Does anyone, any citizens have any comments? Actually, I've got it. Go ahead. Mr. Gonzalez, go ahead. Mayor, Council, I also have concerns, uh, and basically what my concern is to begin with, and then I'll express it with this, is who's driving this? I see you as my representative, and by that I mean as a citizen of Florida. From what I've heard and the people that have presented the information for us to consider, I don't think our constituents, at least those that were making the presentation. And I think we need to be literal about that. I think that you folks represent me, the citizen of Forest Hill, and by that I mean folks that are affected by what, what you decide here and, and, and on other matters directly at home, so to speak. And I don't know that you have done that. That is, have you canvassed those people that you represent to see what they, how they feel about this particular action? What did the majority of these people say? Again, I, I, last time I was here, I suggested that kind of thing. So when you vote on this, are you representing the people that you were put in here to represent? And again, basically, you know, we heard a lot of things the last time that this subject was presented. But we haven't heard what the, the, we, the poor, uh, people of Forestville, are getting out of this session. I think that Council Logan Castillo has given us a few. Does it mean that we will have no access to needed services or funds that have been brought up, bought, sorry, by our federal tax dollars that we so faithfully pay? These are not handouts or bailouts. It is simply our tax dollars at work. Bottom line, I don't believe in limiting our options. We, for as well, should have the option to decide and not give up that right without fully knowing the consequences of, that, of doing that. Thus, I ask you, my representatives, to vote against the proposed resolution. Thank you very much. jump right into this one. Uh, this resolution is specific to the United Nations Agenda 21. Um, the last I checked, the United Nations uh, Agenda 21 hasn't granted any grants to the City of Floresville or uh, offered any grants to the City of Floresville or taken over any uh, solar hot water projects to the City of Floresville. Uh, what this agenda is focused on is some of the basic rights that we have uh, granted to us by the Constitution and ensuring that uh, United Nations Agenda 21 doesn't take those away from us. And I think this is a very, very strong statement to those who want to take away our very basic rights that have been granted to us uh, as citizens of the United States, as citizens of the state of Texas, as citizens of the city of Floresville, and simply states that we don't want to lose those rights. 
And as such, I make the motion to approve the resolution relative to the United Nations Agenda 21. I also would like to make a comment before we continue on that. I was very bothered by that last paragraph because I was not able to find anything in the computers that were telling me in the Google or wherever I go what grant monies they were making reference to. I am a believer in getting grants for our city. We will not be able to accomplish a lot of our goals if we eventually don't apply for grants. So if this is going to tie us and tell us that we're not going to be able to get them, I'm bothered by that. Another thing that bothers me is that this came out because all you heard was, well, the city of Polk approved it and the county approved it. But you know what? I still remember that story my parents always told me. If your friend jumps off the bridge, are you going to jump after them? No, I'm not. I'm going to research, I'm going to learn before I go through any of this. And I know I don't have a vote. That's just how I feel. Look, do you have any uh, input on this agenda for the this for a couple of days and what I read uh, I don't want the United Nations telling me what I can or can I can as far as property vehicles or so forth and I did read this in several articles uh, I'm sure a lot of us have not heard of it before and, and I think it's one of those issues that, that are trying to run it under the, under the solar that we can't you know somewhere right? That, that we don't know until steps have been taken. So uh, I too did not see anything positive when I read about that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and second that motion. We have a motion by Councilman Miller, second by Councilman Guerrero. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I oppose? I oppose it strongly. I'm sorry that the rest of them voted for it. Okay, uh, that is three to one. Motion carries. Last item, 4J, consideration and action to approve resolution to protect and defend the constitutional right to keep and bear arms. And I'd like to ask first if there's any discussion on this. Madam Mayor, anything that talks about protecting and defending any constitutional right, I am for and therefore make the motion to approve. I brought this resolution on to basically state that our rights of the Second Amendment are not to be infringed on, not to be taken away from us. And I will second that motion. I have a motion by Councilman Miller, second by Councilman Rodriguez. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? I object. We were not given sufficient information for this item. Okay, motion carries. Three, one. We adjourn.